Radical right parties made a big step towards unity in European politics. 15 parties from 14 countries issued a joint statement calling for an EU based on sovereign member states instead of a federal European Union. We think that European cooperation can be useful and in some cases necessary, but only on the basis of free nations that cooperate together in a free way. So not what the European Union has become, a judicial system, integrated, uh, severe punishing system, uh, one nation state uh, above all the others. That is not the European cooperation that we want. We want an alternative and we think uh, that European cooperation deserves a better uh, union. The main forces behind the declaration are the Polish ruling party, Viktor Orbán's Fidesz, Marine Le Pen's National Assembly, with Matteo Salvini's Lega and Giorgia Meloni's Brothers of Italy also present. But Germany's AFD is missing from the list. The formation of a new political group in the European Parliament is also on the table. Well, of course, this, this could be the aim, but that is not on the, on, the, on the agenda now. That is not the most urgent thing. The most urgent thing is that the conference for uh, uh, the future of Europe uh, needs other answers for the design of the co European cooperation and that we have to unify uh, our efforts. Uh, the group is something for later, uh, and it's more complicated. The possibility of a new radical right-wing force is not an immediate risk for the current Brussels establishment, as the number of their MEPs will remain the same. But in the long term, this could shape the decision-making in the EU. It is an important signal that shows that across the continent there is a certain concentration of uh, dissatisfaction with certain policies of the uh, European Union. We have to take into account that these parties do disagree on many issues, but where they agree is on the, the cultural issues, the identitarian issues, them being uh, dissatisfied with uh, the, what they perceive as the policies of the European Union that affect the family values, the traditional values, the, the identitarian um, composition of, uh, of uh, their countries. On the other hand, we shouldn't overestimate the importance of uh, this um, uh, move because in practical terms, this does not change too much the balance of power in the current European politics. If their parties remain coherent until the next EU elections, they could have a chance of positioning themselves as the main opposition force in the next European Parliament. Sándor Zsíros, Euronews, Brussels.